Welcome back to GearWire.com. I'm Owen O'Malley. We're going to be taking a look at the DoD FX25B envelope filter. Uh, this uh, pedal was discontinued. It's since been replaced uh, with the Synthwa, the X Series Synthwa. They've got a separate one for guitar and bass. Uh, this pedal, uh, it, the 25B, uh, sort of stands for bass, like it's a bass effect. And if you've ever seen the Flea instructional video, this is the same pedal that he uses, um, which is why I bought it. Uh, but it can be used on guitar as well, and we're going to check it out on both. Um, in this first video, though, we're going to take a look at it on bass. Uh, let's hook it up. Now, fine-tuning this pedal uh, for different basses you might play is really where the blend control comes in. Uh, the blend control, you know, affects your dry, wet signal. Uh, let's turn the effect on here. Uh, the sensitivity is also going to be really important, especially depending on what sort of uh, you're going to be playing. If you're playing more finger style, which is just sort of has a lower output, you want to turn your sensitivity up a little bit. And if you're going to play slap, you know, it's got a, you're going to have a higher output. So to make the effect more noticeable, you want to turn your sensitivity down a little bit. It might be a little bit too low there. Let's bring it up again. So there you go. Uh, the blend control will also make it a you know, very different sounding uh, effect. Here we've got more of our dry signal in here. If you feel like you're losing a little bit of low end, you can just turn the blend all the way counterclockwise and bring your original tone in there. Uh, if we have it all the way up. It's almost more synthy sounding when the blend is all the way up because you get less of that natural tone. The range just controls how deep the effect is. We've got it pretty much maxed out right here. Turn it down here. So there you go. So that was the DoD FX 25B on bass. Uh, in our next video, we're going to take a look at it uh, on guitar. Until then, uh, this is Owen Amell, and you're watching GearWire.com.